plaintiff, Stephen Bacala, was friends with the defendant for 15 years. Stephen claims a few years ago he started dating a new girl, and the defendant said she was no good for Stephen. And the next thing Stephen knew, the defendant was hooking up with her. Stephen is suing his former friend for stolen money and the cost of a tablet. Defendant Carl Warwick says when Stephen started dating the girl in question, Carl knew she was no good for him, but Stephen refused to listen. Therefore, Carl claims he took matters into his own hands and insists he only hooked up with her to prove his point. Start with you. Uh, well, me and Carl have been really good friends for about 15 years. We've very good friends. He's the godfather of my two children. We've always had each other's back through thick and thin and then some. Where do you know each other from? Uh, we met in Ocean Springs, Mississippi, just by chance. And okay. kind of started talking, hit it off, and been friends yeah. ever since. All right. In 2011, I met this girl, and I was pretty taken by her. She was a really pretty girl. She was pretty well endowed. Store bought, but well endowed. <laughs> Store bought. Yes, uh, sir. Got yes. It. <laughs> but um, <laughs> for some odd reason, Carl didn't think she was the girl for me. You know, he, I don't know why. No, what, okay, I'm gonna inject. Like, what I told her, I was like, she's really friendly and she's gonna hurt you. Like, he has a real soft heart. He's a real, real nice guy, but a soft heart. I was How like, long after meeting her did you tell him that? As soon as I saw her, I saw her, I was like, <laughs> she is really friendly. You don't need to mess with her. I was like, if you give me 30 minutes alone with her, I can do stuff so with her. So just because a woman is very friendly when you meet them, you think no, no, that... No, 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 not friendly. I mean, like... Easy That's friendly. What you said. Easy for okay, well yeah. Well it gave you the impression she was easy. I just looked These at her. Could... wanna know what not to do. So <laughs> what should they not do? It's just something I could tell. I I, I could see it in her. It was okay. her eyes, I guess. I don't know. All right, sound like he was trying to hit on the same woman at the same no, time. No, it wasn't even the case. I didn't want to do that. I just didn't want him to get <laughs> you hurt because I saw him her. not. What did he advise you? Just like he said, he he advised me that that's and not what the one to fall for. What did he say the reason was, just as he says? Just about. What did he say the result would be? He said, I'd most likely get my feelings hurt. Why? Because she was she was a little fast, let's put it that way. Okay, Super and that fast. she would cheat, Super uh, fast. Uh, that she would mess with multiple men? Is right. that yes. what you all were saying? Correct. Yes. Plaintiff Stephen Bacala was friends with the defendant, who admits that he once hooked up with a girl Stephen was dating just to prove that she was no good for him. What happened with the lady? We uh we were all out one night going to a club. There were several of us called myself and how long after meeting? It was probably about six months after I okay. met her. No, it was like three weeks. Three weeks, I'll give it a, a month and a half tops. <laughs> All a month right. and a half tops. Let's go, to go, let's take it up the middle. Three months, what okay. happened? <laughs> we were at the club. Let him finish, okay. you tell me. Like I said, you... we was at the club. Uh, everybody was drinking, I was one of the sober ones, so uh, we decided to go to another club. Uh, she rode with Carl to the next club. Why? Because I, I had to drive I, I wanted to car. let him know. The car was already full. Hurt. It was a last second decision. I had to drive their car because the driver wasn't capable of driving. So go ahead. Well, we all got to the club and uh, Carl didn't. About 30 minutes later, he finally popped up and uh, he informed me they stopped at his apartment for a, uh, a little oral soiree, if you want to put it that way. <laughs> and he, you know, he told me, he said, "Now you know. I told you, you no, know, she ain't the one for you. Now you know how she is." Da da da. Well, what was the nature of your relationship by then? Loosely dating. How often? <laughs> Pretty often. I mean, we see each other roughly every day. I could see him caring about her and spending day? money on her. Yes, sir. <laughs> For three months. Yes, sir. And then she runs off with him on a ride. In a car in 30 minutes. Not in her defense, but she was extremely intoxicated. No, she wasn't. <laughs> No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. She could walk good, talk good, walk Wait, a straight line. She was good. You didn't deal with her good, after huh? that. <laughs> so you didn't deal with her after that, did you? No, not yeah. really. We, we remained friends and talked here and there, but no, not, not relationship-wise, no. All right, before we get to the tablet you're suing him for, mm -hmm. you give me your side of that, sir. He's real sensitive. He's a real good cat, like I was telling mm -hmm. you, you know, and I didn't want to see him get hurt because I've seen him hurt in the past mm -hmm. by trifling females. And he brought it to me, and I was like, Steve, she is not what you want. You told him up front you were oh, going yes. to test her? Yeah, I was like, Steve, if did you... He? he didn't say he wanted to test her, no. But he did tell me what he thought about her. I told him, if you leave me alone with her for 30 minutes, I'll get her to did do you, something. Didn't you say that? No, but go ahead. I, I thought I heard I you said, say I said, as long that. as you don't hate on me and you give me mm -hmm. 30 minutes, I'll show you how bad she is. So I said, hey, well, let's go switch bars and let her ride with me and I'll show you. And if it, she she's all right, then cool, then y'all be with her. So I took her to my house, like, 30 minutes what later. What did you say to her? to get her to go to your house. You're like, y'all you you gonna edit it, you want me to put it on, like, say it? You don't have to say, <laughs> you don't have to say it vulgar. <laughs> you don't have to use the vulgar language. 
it, it, I really didn't have to say much, you know? I just, mm. When you were stopped, you said, let's go buy my house? Yeah, I was like, let's stop by my house. I gotta get some more cash. And she was like, all right. Then I was like, come here, come upstairs real quick. And she was like, no. And I was like, man, quit playing, come upstairs real quick. She said no? Yeah, and she was like, oh, I was like, come on. And she was like, all right, I'll go upstairs. She told you no, you tricked her, number one. You said, let's go get some cash. That's misrepresentation. You defrauded I, her about why she was coming I to your house. I went and got some cash. Then though. when you said, come upstairs, she said no at first. I'm gonna leave it alone, though. So his game, I thought you were gonna tell me. I thought you were gonna tell me you had some game. I was I gonna did. put you no. in another category. I was gonna say, he got some game. He must be from Detroit. <laughs> he, you, you out here tricking women out of oh. sex. What part of the game is that? <laughs> Don't trick no woman. Uh, I got some ice cream upstairs. <laughs> <for you. laughs> Let me tell you how you do it. You say, young lady, I know you're involved with my man, and I'm not sure how tight y'all are. He is my man, but I really don't trust you. I know you kind of loose, and I know, you know, you've been looking at me, so let's just be real about it. You want to get together or what? Well, no, I, 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 all right, I heard you say no, so I'm not going to do nothing because you said no. Well, on second thought, <laughs> that's how it's supposed to go. That's pretty much how well, it was. Now she you wasn't... tricked her. Okay. You tricked her. You, tri you got the trick game going. <laughs> Like, pure game. That's what we learned in Detroit. Go ahead. It's the same in New Orleans, Judge. There you go. Oh, New Orleans? Oh, yeah. They got the game down. That's right. Go That's ahead right. with the tablet. How does he owe you for the tablet? Well, uh, it was, let's see. It was um, August. I purchased the tablet. It was the new Windows 3 Surface. I've been waiting for it to come out. It came out. I grabbed it. I got it for a pretty good deal at the time. And, uh... About two months after that, I uh, had a mass layoff at my job. I lost my job and had some bills to catch up on, so I pawned the tablet. At the time, I decided to make the trip to the pawn shop. Me and Carl was out knocking around, riding around, and my stupid self left the pawn receipt in Carl's car. Well, I knew he wanted that tablet. He kind of, when we was going to yeah, pawn it. thought like he wanted your woman. <laughs> pawn receipt, girl. Yeah. When, oh. when we was going to pawn the tablet, he said, well, why don't you just let me buy it, blah, blah, blah. No, I didn't want to do that. So I pawned the tablet. Well, it was getting close time to go get it, so I, I, you know, I was on the phone with Carl by chance, told him I was about to go get the tablet. He said, well, about that. I said, what about that? He said, I already went and got it. Oh, no. I said, okay. And I, I started hard. raising hell with him. He said, well, just look at it this way. He said, I got it. It's safe. You don't have to worry about you know, accruing more interest or the time lapse right, or anything like that. What's that? Did he give you the tablet? No, sir. He didn't give me no money. I wouldn't have had a problem giving him the 179 to get the tablet back until he informed me that he did a master reset and deleted my entire life out of that tablet. Plaintiff Stephen Bacala was friends with the defendant, who admits that he once hooked up with a girl Stephen was dating just to prove that she was no good for him. I'm sorry, what do you want to tell me? He's making it seem like a whole different ordeal. A little background, he has pawned everything from TVs to kayaks and never got anything out. He had the love of his life, a kayak, had an outboard motor, GPS, depth finder, I mean... A, since he lost his job, though? No, that was way, way before that. It was, it was a while ago. He, he's always been in the tendency to pawn things and never get them out. So he was like, hey, give me a ride to the pawn shop. And I was like, what are you pawning? And he was like, I'm pawning a tablet. And I was like, man, I kind of need a tablet for my business. I have an electronic cigarette business. Then uh, I was like, we went to the pawn shop and they lowballed him. I was like, let me just give you the money for it and you come back and get it from me. He was like, no, because you're going to erase it. And I'm like, well, yeah, I don't want all your nastiness on there. You can just put it back <laughs> on there later. So he was like, no. I was like, all right, cool, do you. I just know you're not going to get it out. So we ride home. I dropped him off. He called me. He says, you left. I called him and said, you left the pawn receipt in my car. Time passed, and I was like, oh, the, the tablet. And I called about it, and they were like, if you don't come today, right now, it's like 4 o'clock, and I live like an hour away. Mm -hmm. I was like, uh, he said, if you don't come right now, we're going to take it. It's gone forever. And I said, okay, well, hold on. I'm on my way. So I went, got some money, and I ran down there, got it back out. Before I made it to my house, I called him, and I was like, hey, Steve, I don't know if you missed the date or not, but if you're going to plan to get that tablet out, just holler at me. I got it, because when I called, it was the last day to get it. He was all mad, didn't talk to me for like two or three days. I was like, whatever. So a couple days later, I called him again. I was like, hey, dude, if you want it, you know what I'm saying, ain't no real big rush, but if you want it, come up with some money. Did he ever respond? Yeah. He, he say, I'm on my way, or bring it to me? No, no, he was just totally upset. Okay, he sir, what, did he tell you, did he give you notice that he, he wanted his money? Like I was saying, when I raised hell with him about going to get the tablet, uh -huh. he told me it was safe because I wouldn't have to worry about right. the time running out or interest accruing anymore. 
Well, what does that sound like to you? I don't have to worry about it. Pay him the 179 when I can and get my tablet back, correct? Reasonable amount of time is what it means. Reasonable. So how long did you wait before you said, I have your money? Less than two weeks. Okay, was that true, sir? No. How long did it take? He never, did, he never said, I have your money, so I'm going to come and get it. You correct. never said that to right him? Right around the same time, Your Honor, we want to as roommates living together. Sir, did you ever say that to him? Did you ever say, I have your money? I had a check being deposited. The sir, did you Friday. ever yes, say sir. to him? Yes, sir. Yes, you I did. You dodged that. You dodged that. Vic, what did you do with the tablet, sir? Uh, I use it for my business. All right, why couldn't you give it back to him out of decency? Of I don't have $179 decency to give away. <laughs> so if he gives you the $179, you are fine then? Yeah. Plaintiff Stephen Bacala was friends with a defendant who admits that he once hooked up with a girl Stephen was dating just to prove that she was no good for him. And why couldn't you give him the 179 at any point? So I told him that this coming Friday, I have a check that's about to be deposited. I'm going to get it then. He said, oh, no, you should have got that by the 7th. Time ran up on the 7th. I said, you told me I didn't have so to worry about a time frame. So to return it to you? At that point, yes. Two weeks later? Two weeks later. Now, is that true? No, it wasn't two weeks. You it never refused? When did I you did. refuse? I did. I did refuse to give it to him, but that was a while after that. It was, it was way past. He had been staying at my house, checks in and out, this, that, and the other. I was like, are you going to get this tablet? And he's like, oh, I'm doing How this. How long do after, this. sir? <sighs> a good month and a week or two, something like that, you know. One month later, he said, I have the money. And you said that your deadline has expired. Right. In one month. When I was previously told Some there was no deadline. Some you have. Yeah. $664 is your judgment. You were prepared to pay for your property within a reasonable amount of time. Two weeks, one month, two months, even three months. Uh, therefore, I'm going to grant your judgment. <laughs> judgment for the plaintiff. I'm not upset about it. It is what it is. I thought uh, a month and a couple of weeks would have reasoned about the time, but he says it's not, so it's not. You know, we're still friends. Yeah, we'll I'm always cool. be friends. Like I said, he's my child's godfather. We're best friends. We've been through it for each other through thick and thin. We always will be. That's my boy. Have a question about how to collect child support from your ex-spouse? If so, hit me up on my website, askjudgemathis.com.